from all the years I've been in it, uh, I have bred Mapunga Diva. She's had six litters and she's now nine year old. And it doesn't make any difference. She still throws winners. But I do think it's how you look after the dam. You know, you definitely got to look after that greyhound. Treat her like she was when she was 12 months old. Feed her the same as a racing dog. Look after her. Just because she's nine year old, don't discard them out into a backyard somewhere and not look after them. Diva over there, she's got a shine on her coat, like a 12 month old pup. Uh, and that's how I've sort of lived. You have gotta look after them. Uh, we put them on a meat and kibble diet and uh, worm them out before they're mated, make sure that they're clean. Uh, then we'll feed them as they're in pup, uh, as their time goes for the nine weeks. They are looked after and fed on meat, kibble, milk, uh, wormed out again. And then when the, the dam whelps, we'll go into a real heavy feeding them because she will eat probably three times as much as she would uh, before she was mated. So you've got to give them ad-lib food, that, and that means meat, kibble, milk, uh, as much as she can eat to feed those little pups. At three weeks of age, we start them on a bit of Divectolac. It's a supplement that you buy. A lot of people don't do that, but we feel that if you can put a little bit of that into them, it helps the pups and it helps the mother feed them. So if you've got a litter of eight or nine pups, it's very hard on the dam to feed those pups because there's a lot of pups there. So we just substitute a little bit, not much. Um, and then by the time they get to uh, three to four weeks, they start, we'll start introducing a bit of canned puppy food to them and soaked puppy kibble and a little bit of milk, or well it starts off with Divectolac and milk, and then as they go on they eat more and more, which makes it easier on their mother, and she'll wean them about six weeks. They're wormed uh, when they're one week old, and every two weeks after that, two, three months of age, I worm them. Now it might sound a lot, but I just believe that a clean pup grows better. Uh, so when they get to three months of age, they're fed on dry food, uh, soaked food from six weeks up until about eight weeks, uh, plus milk and bones. We give them bones so their teeth will come through quick. When they get to three months, they'll go on to dry food and as much bones and meat as, or more bones and that, that they can chew at and as much milk as they can drink. They are wormed out uh, every two weeks and then at three months they go on to every month. I'll worm those pups at every month after that, the ones I keep. And then it's just the normal growing up to, you know, you feed them right through to break in. What's the theory behind the kibble? Why is that so good for them? Uh, well, kibble's a balanced diet. You have to have a balanced diet in their ration. You just could not give them meat and milk. They won't put weight on, they won't grow properly. So you've got to balance the diet, which says that the meat and the bones are there for their teeth and the milk for calcium in them. Now, I know there's a lot of breeders that don't like milk, but that's just the way I do it, and it's worked for me so I don't change the system. Uh, and the kibble, of course, it's balanced diet, so you have to have some of that in there. 